Hey, what is happening, muchachos? Welcome to the video. Yeah, I'm excited. Alrighty, muchachos. So, I just finished doing a bunch of work this morning and I decided to open up my schedule for the rest of the day because I want to have some fun with my muchachos, man. And I also want to hit a workout. And you guys know that I train with gymnastic rings. And one good benefit of them is that they are super portable. So you can train almost anywhere with them. So I decided to take full advantage of them today and go on an adventure. And I have to say, things have already started off pretty interesting. Uh, guys, I don't think that's a dog. That looks more like a coyote. guys that means we need to be very careful where we're going right now because if I don't keep my eyes open your boy could end up being lunch oh my gosh look at that right there So it's crazy to imagine guys that years ago this entire place was filled with animals but now it's totally abandoned in fact the real la zoo is just a mile away from here and they actually converted this little place into a hiking trail so anybody can come here and see the ruins for themselves freaking amazing man also they've actually shot quite a few iconic scenes in this location right here oh no we woke up the mama I don't want to die. Ah man, Anchorman. Definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. So freaking funny. But guys, while we're here, instead of just taking advantage of the place to look at how beautiful it is, your boy needs to make some drinks, man. you gotta admit this is freaking sick dudes oh so just finished my first exercise working on the shoulders did a few sets of wall handstand push-ups then switched over to some elevated pike presses to really overload the shoulders but apparently there's actually more stuff back there so guys let's go check it out okay, oh. okay. so guys this place looks pretty rad. So as you can see, there's a bunch of graffiti over here. So people come over here and spray paint this stuff. It looks freaking urban, it looks freaking dope. And right now I'm in a little cage. This thing is the only thing holding me in here. There's another cage right there. And I think I can hang up my rings, oh, up here.
Alrighty, guys. So, you know what? I think I am done with that little section over there. So, busted out a few sets of some ring dips. More technically, four sets of seven. But that space was a little bit too claustrophobic for me. And honestly, kind of creepy. So, let's keep exploring. Yes. So right now, honestly, I feel like I'm a Jurassic Park, man. This is so trippy, guys. That is one of the great things of being able to work out with your own body weight, man. Literally, the world becomes your freaking playground. So apparently guys, there's actually a lot more stuff in this zoo. So there's some more cages. I'm actually trying to find them. All we could find was that cave down there. But I have been trekking for the past hour, but hopefully we can find some more cool spots before the sun goes down. I don't think there's any way in hell I can explore this entire place in just one day, especially with the amount of sunlight that I have. This is probably going to be a two or three day visit. So what I'm actually doing here, guys, is I'm actually scouting locations for a very big video project that I plan or releasing in October. When that one comes out, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. But right now, we definitely need to find a spot so we can hang up these rings and finish up this workout. guys there's something super interesting about working out in nature man kind of makes me feel like a caveman or something look guys free hugs all righty muchachos it looks like we finally found the cages this is where they put all the wild animals, all the beasts. But this stuff is locked up so we can't go in there. It's kind of interesting because when I'm running around this place, I can feel the history in it, man. It's kind of sad that they had to close it down. I mean, I know that there's another just a mile away from here. But this place is freaking awesome, man. But I guess that's the same, man. One man's trash is not much treasure. Yeah. Actually guys, hold up one second. I did some more searching around and I found out that it's actually a back entrance to the cages. This thing right here leads into the cages, but it is very cramped. So it looks like we're gonna have to like crawl right through there. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is pretty cool. Shows. 
I think I'm gonna call it for this little adventure workout session. <sighs> Man. Very interesting day so far, I gotta say. And uh, it's funny, when I was working out in the cage right now, you won't believe the looks I got from people walking by. Hey, do you guys know how to get out this cage? Sorry? Do you know how to get out the cage? No. So I'm trapped in here. So this was super unexpected, but on my way back to the car, I started hearing some music and apparently they're having a festival over here at Griffith Park. This is actually a free Shakespeare's festival that's going on from Wednesday to Sunday at 6 p.m. until the 2nd of September. So if you guys ever want to see some free Shakespeare, definitely consider coming to this event. And uh, with that, man, I guess I am gonna wrap up this vlog, man, because I didn't really expect this, man. I think I'm just gonna hang out here and just explore the good vibe. So, with that, muchachos, muchachas, your boy's gonna sign out, man. If you guys like this video, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and give this one boop, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, man, what you waiting for, man? Go ahead and subscribe, and muchachos, Chachas, always remember this guys, always strive to improve, even if it's just a little each and every single day. Kaizen, see you guys in the next video. Peace!